Hey everybody, the Bonga is back. Welcome to part 10 of Let's Play Super Mario Bros. X, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Okay, I went back to the first level of World 5 to get a potable boot, or potable shoe. So now it's time to return to the Pyramid of Fail, and hopefully I'll hold on to this thing the entire time so I can get to the secret exit. Here's to hoping. Luckily I have a nice flower to help out in case things get a little too dicey. I think I'll still need to ride this, though, just in case, because there might be some parts that'll be very difficult to do without it, like whenever the lava is to the ceiling, and believe me, it's gonna get to that point. Not necessarily on this bone coaster, but probably the next one. I can't do that? Okay, I can do that. That works for me. Death is death. Hey, what's up? Try my best not to get into too much unnecessary combat. Here, you have to ride the bone coaster and duck. If you don't, you're gonna get hit. So just play it cool. Like so. And now we can finally go to the right. Just take your time, you don't need to rush it. Okay, if I remember correctly, there is a way to do this. Hmm. This can be tricky. Whoa, okay, I, I see it now. So apparently, this is invisible. And the only way to see the path is you have to use the Tanuki suit. So yeah, you don't need the shoe for this. Just play cool. Yeah, there's no way I can hit the lava. This secret exit, I actually had to look up on YouTube to know how to get there. So I was thinking, do I have to jump off the shoe while I'm under the lava and stuff to see if I can make that work? And it never did. Apparently there was an invisible wall or invisible floor at the time and it just kept screwing with me. Apparently that's the way to do it. Okay, apparently a door to open is probably on this side. Yep, so this is where you can pretty much get any power-up you want. I did not want to pick that up, by the way. So I'll pick up a Hammer Brothers suit, I'll pick up a Tanuki suit, and I think I'll head back to World 6. So let's do this, shall we? Now I should be well-armed to the teeth, because now we can go to the Star Palace and pick up any power we want. We can pick up an Ice Yoshi. We're gonna be set! Let's put it that way. Now there's still like the rest of the game to do, but that'll be covered in time. And by that I mean right now. The rawest forest. So, let's see what we're gonna find here. Of course that's the forest maze music from a Mario RPG. That is a very distinguishable track. Anybody that's played Mario RPG knows this by heart how harmonious it is. Maybe it's one of the best songs in the entire game, who knows? It's debatable. Somebody else might have a different favorite track from that game? I think this one is awesome. Is it the best? Um, Probably close. I can't really say what one is the absolute best. Maybe Bowser's Castle or the gate area before you get to the factory? It's possible either or. So I'm definitely going to hold on to this. Unfortunately, the donut lifts drop pretty much instantly. So you had to be careful with that. The enemy ahead can be tough. Use the turnips to take him out as soon as possible. What, are these turnips? Oh. Now I see what he means. Okay, now we can advance. Good. I think I should use the Hammer Brother suit for this. Nah, I think I'll just get out and dodge. Because these spiny eggs are going to really piss me off. Did I? No, I didn't kill it. So I'm trying to think about where the secret exit is. I think it involves Birdo, if I remember correctly. And it probably involves riding an egg? I'm not 100% sure about that regard, but I guess we'll find out soon enough. Once we get there.
We... Oh! Another Hammer Brother suit! I don't know if that was the right idea, because now I don't have a Tanuki suit anymore. But, I mean, the Hammer Brother suit is serving me well for this level, specifically. Especially if I have to take on that Lakitu again. Now I have a range attack. Hmm... I think I should just go with Slide. That was it. Uh, Leaf? I actually don't want one. Tempting? But I don't want one. Not gonna lie with you on that one. Oh, should have used a shell. But I already committed. So let's test out this theory here. Let's see how far this takes me. Oh, I see it now. I have to ride it twice! The exact same egg, too! And that's how you get to the secret exit. So yeah, it was a bit of a trek, and very interesting secret exit to obtain. Oh, a ghost house. Ah, uh, let me go back and get the normal exit. I don't know why, but I tend to try to go for the secret exit first, because usually that's the one you find midway through the stage. Then you have to go the long way for the normal exit. Only this time you don't really have to browse around as much. So I don't know which one is really longer or shorter. It all depends on your perspective and how you breeze through the levels. Me, I tend to breeze just fine. I won't exactly call it a gentle breeze. I did not want that. Oh, whoa! For some reason, my jumping was a bit locked. I don't need turnips. I have hammers. Mario's like, screw the rules. I got the hammers. There we go. Now, next time I see Birdo, I just got to defeat her. That's all. Should I get another Hammer Brothers suit? You know what? I might as well. Just because. Besides, getting some extra coins wouldn't hurt either. Alright, let's go. Just gotta hold down the entire time when you're here. I'll do it backwards, because I'm awesome! I'm not even acknowledging those piranha plants. Thank you. Too bad killing that shy guy doesn't give you more. Hm, I didn't need the eggs, I have hammers! Turnips and eggs, no need if you got hammers. Okay, so it's also a secret exit. Why don't I do the ghost house first? Do not enter. Screw it, I'm entering. This is a perfect power-up to have. Now I can just kill the ghost. I can kill Ares! My dream has come true! Then again, I've had many dreams. This is one of them. Being able to kill Ares. I could not ask for anything better. Oh my god, it's gonna be a maze, isn't it? Uh, can't be a ghost house without some kind of puzzle involved. Looks like the enemies don't respond, which is good. What about you? Wait. Okay, it takes three hits for them. Hmm... I have a suspicious feeling it's not gonna be an obvious door to choose. I have a feeling I gotta go through here. It says do not enter. Maybe it means ignore doors for the most part? Aw, oh, I was hoping to get that airy. Screw it, I'll do it from behind. That's what I said to her last night. Anyways. Hmm. Oh, that didn't work. So it looks like I need to get to that door over there. Question is, how am I gonna do it? Is there, like, some kind of hidden alcove? One that's fake? Aha! Just go to the right side of the screen. Makes perfect sense, if you ask me. Well, not really, but I'll take it. Get the coins. Get the power. Get the women. 
Get the blue door. Get the big boo killed. Even though it's technically already dead. But in any case. So, Gengars are believed to be the shadows of Clefables. What are Big Boo supposed to represent, anyway? I have no idea. So, I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of theories on this one that have probably been up on fanfiction sites. Many of them not safe for work. But anyways, I'm not here to discuss that because I tend to avoid fanfictions. I don't know why. There's just some lines in the internet that should never, ever, 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 ever be crossed. So safe to say I probably needed this. If I'm gonna find one here... That was close. I think I should have kept the Hammer Brothers suit for at least this stretch. So I can at least use this time to kill the enemies. I'm really hoping I'm doing the right thing here. Oh! That's it? Was that really it? Come on, man. Did I really have to get that? Something is amiss. Lakitu Warzone. Oh dear. Maybe I should take this with me. Because I'm not interested in dealing with a lot of crap from Lakitu's. Trust me on this one. Especially on moving platforms. But at least the music's nice. Don't really care to get that power up over there if that's gonna be a power up at all. Because I already got what I want. Come on. Oh. There! I like how the music just decides to go back to normal as soon as you kill it. It's like, epic battle! Oh my god, you killed that dude! Da -na 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 -na. But, anyways, time to try and get further ahead in this level. I wouldn't be surprised there's going to be another Lakitu showing up. Those have got to be like the uh, jerk Lakitus. I hate those. The ones you see in Mario 3 that constantly throw the spiny eggs? I hate those so much. They were so frustrating to deal with, but they were also a great source of lies if you had like a Koopa shell flush against a couple blocks. Then just keep having the spiny eggs uh, take the lives. Or have the shell take away the spiny eggs, which leads to more lives. That's what I mean to say. Anyways, I've been yapping a bit too much. Apparently, even if I say one thing, according to some people, that's too much. But, I don't care about those people. Wow! That ended quickly! The music didn't even get a chance to get, like, a two beats going. Oh god, Boomerang Brother. Wait, why did that one shoot hammers? It was a trick! Smart move there, Hammer Brother. Camouflage yourself as a boomerang brother to give me a false sense of security. But you're still dead. Careful. Whoa. Momentum sometimes shift me over to the right. I don't know why it did that, but it did. Oh, don't want to die now, just making a dumb mistake, which would get me killed. Sure, I'll hop in some ninjas like a boss. <laughs> and I just woke up Lola, sorry there, girl. You better move quick, those platforms don't look sturdy. <laughs> Neither does your penis. Not that I would know, but that's what she said. Toadette, that is. Birdo, we meet again. And you die again. Well, that was quick. <laughs> okay, another single exit level? I might as well do it. Shell Heaven? Is it the equivalent of Blue Shell Hell? In case you don't know what I'm talking about, that's 
pretty much been the meme of Mario Kart play with a Colette in on 180 because she loves Blue Shell so much. If you screw her over, no matter what position, she'll threaten you with a Blue Shell. Even though the one in first place never did anything. Because, you know, woman logic. Hmm, will that be special? Ah, it'll give me a leaf. But I don't want a leaf. Yeah. That doesn't seem like heaven to me. If Koopas are dying. Ice flower, no. I'm gonna stick with the tail and the Hammer Brothers suit. Thank you very much. So, I don't really understand why this place is called Shell Heaven. Well, thanks for the leaf, even though I don't need it. It's mostly for Mighty Moles. Above all else. Ooh, I want a yellow one. Sorry, Greeny. My apologies, but I like to mix things up now and then. Uh, whoa, whoa. That mole was gonna land on me. Enemies jumping on Mario. What irony. Now, no, ma no matter what color shell, I'm gonna be doing the uh, sand attack whenever I land. A red one? Don't make me choose. I prefer to shoot fire over, well, just launching sand. But that's my personal preference. Usually in Super Mario World, I prefer the, uh, blue Yoshi above all else. I might find another one in this level yet. Might as well call this place Yoshi Heaven, not Shell Heaven. Doesn't make any sense. This is all about the Yoshis. Well, maybe eggshells. If you want to interpret it that way. But I just don't see Koopa shells. Well, yeah, technically there are a lot of Koopas, so I can understand that regard. No, I don't want another one. Thank you very much. I'm quite content with what I have. <sighs> really, Birdo? You know what? I'll use the eggs this time. Because sometimes you just never learn otherwise. I tried to teach you a lesson with hammers, but apparently that's not enough for you. So I guess I'll have to settle with regurgitation. Really? Another airship level? So I guess I might as well just go do the other path. I mean, what was the name of this level again? Because I don't think I've actually been down there. The Lost Woods. Hey, the Zelda references. Okay, I'm going to stop the video here, and in the next part, we're going to the Lost Woods. See you, everybody.